The 2021 Mi Notebook models aren't direct replacements for last year's Mi Notebook 14 family. We have with us the new Mi Notebook Ultra, which is a premium 15.6 inch laptop for creative professionals and anyone who wants more power and performance than the entry level segment can deliver. Price starting at 59,999 rupees in India, this isn't the slickest or most portable laptop around, but it does offer a lot of value added features that you might find compelling. More importantly, it fixes a lot of the shortcomings of last year's models. This is our review of the 2021 Mi Notebook Ultra. Let's get started. The Mi Notebook Ultra is similar to the Mi Notebook Pro, which was launched at the same time, but is physically larger with a bigger screen. Prices start at 59,999 rupees for the base variant, which has an 11th gen Intel Core i5 CPU and 8GB of RAM. Stepping up to the variant with 16GB of RAM will cost 64,999 rupees. The top end variant, which we're reviewing today, has a Core i7 CPU and 16GB of RAM and costs 76,999 rupees. The most notable feature of the Mi Notebook Ultra is its 15.6 inch 3200 by 2000 pixel screen. It has a 90Hz refresh rate, which is uncommon for laptops, and a 16 is to 10 aspect ratio. Xiaomi says it covers 100% of the sRGB color gamut. This panel really is great for getting work done and multitasking. It's fairly crisp and bright. Colors aren't the most vibrant, but the anti-reflective finish is good for productivity. There's enough room for a large, comfortable keyboard. There's a column of paging keys on the right, and the arrow keys aren't too cramped. You even get one macro key in the top right corner which lets you launch any one program quickly. Adjustable backlighting addresses one of the big shortcomings with last year's models. The power button has an integrated fingerprint sensor for Windows Hello authentication. On the downside, the trackpad mechanism is a little stiff. On the left you'll see one USB 3.2 Type-C port, an HDMI video output, one USB 3.2 Type-A port and one Thunderbolt 4 port. The Mi Notebook Ultra can be charged using either of the Type-C ports. On the right is another USB port, but this one only works at USB 2.0 speed. Finally, there's a 3.5mm audio socket. Unfortunately, this laptop doesn't have an SD card slot or physical Ethernet port. Above the screen, you'll find a 720p webcam. The Mi Notebook Ultra has a stereo speaker system. Xiaomi rates the battery life at 12 hours and you get a 65W Type-C charger in the box. This laptop also supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1. The body of the Mi Notebook Ultra is made of CD6 aluminum. It weighs 1.7 kilos, which is not an ultra-portable territory, but still makes this laptop easy enough to carry around every day. It's still quite slim at 17.9 mm. The lid has a sandblasted texture and looks quite nice, though the big Xiaomi logo is a departure from last year's completely blank look. In terms of construction quality, this is an impressive laptop. The hinge feels solid and the lid doesn't flex too much. You can open this laptop with one finger. On the inside, Xiaomi has gone with Intel's 11th gen H35 series CPUs, which are actually slightly more powerful versions of the U-series chip used for ultra-portable laptops and not part of the more powerful H-series used for gaming and high-end models. You can choose between 8GB and 16GB of RAM if you go with the Core i5 CPU, but the Core i7 can only be bought with 16GB. The RAM is soldered and not upgradable. All three variants have a 512 GB NVMe SSD, which can be swapped. Xiaomi is sticking with the integrated Intel Iris Xe graphics, and there are no discrete GPU options. You get Windows 10, which is upgradable to Windows 11. In terms of performance, I didn't have any trouble with the Mi Notebook Ultra. The top-end variant that I'm reviewing has more than enough power for everyday productivity and multitasking. The large high-res screen is a pleasure to work on if you're used to more compact laptops. Videos are enjoyable too, though the speakers are only just about okay in terms of volume and fullness. You should be able to play casual games, but even older 3D titles such as Shadow of the Tomb Raider struggle to run smoothly at 1200x800 at the medium quality setting. You should be able to get through a workday on one full charge if your usage consists mainly of web browsing and productivity. With heavier tasks and benchmarks running, the entire left side of the body, including the wrist rest, got quite warm. The cooling fan isn't audible at all, except when this laptop is heavily stressed. The Mi Notebook Ultra has a lot going for it in terms of features and performance. You get great value for money compared to the entry-level Redmi Book series, which was also launched quite recently. The display and keyboard are its main highlights. Battery life is good enough for a work machine, and the hardware should be more than enough for a few years. 
On the downside, things like the trackpad and port selection could still be better. As we said, this isn't the most portable laptop around and it definitely isn't aimed at gamers. Still, you should be able to carry it comfortably with you every day and get quite a lot of work done on the go. The Core i7 variant that we've reviewed here is definitely worth considering if your budget can stretch to around 78,000 rupees. Thanks for watching, that was our review of the 2021 Mi Notebook Ultra. Do let us know what you think of it in the comment section and for more details visit us at gadgets360.com.